here in Hollenbeck. We have a shooting with two victims down. We just got a report uh, from one of our other photographers that stated that CHP was also at the location of a shooting in a uh, homeless encampment with two people in a tent that were shot. Um, and I think they're one in the same because LAPD says they have two victims, one male gunshot wound to the chest, one female gunshot wound to the leg. Uh, LAFD was just cleared to enter and we're a tiny bit behind the ball um, because we didn't exactly know where it is, but now we have the corrected location and we're now, we were heading toward Hollenbeck, so we're in the right, we're in the right area, right part of the city, but we need to uh, get ourselves get ourselves there and it would kind of make sense because it's like near the freeway so i could see chp rolling up on that but again our biggest thing is to get as much oh boy is to get as much <sighs> let's go guys get as much information as possible and get ourselves over to this uh over to this incident Speaking of road rage, we'll talk a little more about it once we finish up this incident. Um, we've had a bunch of uh, road rage uh, shootings recently. We covered one last night. Um, Gabe had one, I want to say we were at, we saw that a couple nights before that. And then just tonight, uh, or the, oh, I'm sorry, Randy had one before that. And then uh, Austin Dave up in Santa Clarita, he had one today as well. So we've had, gosh, what is it, four? Four or five four or five and there's one that we didn't go to down off the 105 but there's been four or five here we go crime broadcast this might not be hang on i'm not seeing anything yet it's going to be down here to the right that's the deal on the Oh, here we go. So our location is not 100%, but I do see LAPD and I see the red lights from City Fire. So hopefully we're on the correct side of this. Otherwise, otherwise we'll have to go around. Ooh, it is a homeless encampment type thing. Yep, LAPD. Yep. We got it. Yeah, it is in a homeless encampment, so I think uh, I think this is one of the same with the CHP broadcast. We'll have to we'll have to see who's over here. If we see a CHP unit, then that's all I need to know. How's it going, boss? Hey, did you guys have CHP over here on this with you or no? CHP? Yeah, did they show up? No. They put out a broadcast for a shooting in, in a homeless encampment. I'm thinking that this is probably the call they got, so I'm not sure if they showed up, but... Yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay, no worries. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hard to see with the RAs, the street's really small. In the back of the RA uh, that we can see, the one facing away from us, that's going to be our male victim. And I, because we heard the crime broadcast say there were two, one male, one female. That's creepy, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Um, the female, uh, presumably, is in the RA that's facing us. And that's what we have so far. If anything changes, though, I'm sure they'll notify you. We're off the freeway, so that's probably it. 
Okay, yeah, it's right next to the uh, next to the sound wall. LAP Hollenbeck's investigating. CHP never showed up. Clearly, it's a transfer to their handle because it's not on the freeway. Two victims transported. Sounds like one female, one male. I'll be out of here in a second. All right, you guys heard it. I was just talking with Randy on the radio. We have a we have a shooting scene here. Um, we'll have a corrected location. Uh, I didn't see any street signs. So we'll have to look at it on the map, but it's a weird, uh, it's a weird street name. It's not a common one, and it's not something that we're going to um, run across very often. So little streets like this next to the freeway, maybe the street goes a couple blocks uh, east and west. We're not going to be too familiar with that name. So considering how many, <clears throat> excuse me, considering how many streets there are in Los Angeles, you hear one every once in a while, and you go, man. After all these years, I still hear a street, and I think to myself, I have never heard that street before. Um, we got both victims uh, being transported. I did see the male in the other RA. He seemed to be uh, conscious and breathing and talking with firefighters. But as we know, that doesn't mean that he's going to be okay. That means that he's conscious and breathing and alert uh, and ambulatory as of right now. But he could go to the hospital and things could always go sideways. So they have to be really careful dealing with him. And then the female, they said, was shot in the leg. Hopefully there's no artery involvement and hopefully she makes a recovery. The area that they're looking at where the shooting occurred is near a homeless encampment. But I don't want to say 100% that it that our victims were uh, transient. So this is something we're going to have to again turn over to uh, our editors, talk with Hollenbeck Division uh, sergeants and everybody who's in charge over here, and find out exactly what they think is going on. But as of right now, two victims transported: one male, one female. Male, I believe, was in his 40s or 50s. Female, uh, 40s or 50s. Um, we'll have to roll the tape back and <laughs> take a listen to what the exact age was. But um, at the end of the day, really um, just a, a more and more common theme. And we're talking about the car shooting stuff. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that more in the car when we're out of here. So to be, to be continued. LAPD is not code six. It sounds like I have an airship overhead. I'm gonna be uh, standing by for PD. Suspects are currently GOA, but um, yeah, it sounds like the uh, RP fired rounds at the suspects. Okay, we uh, we were just heading to a uh, fire that is a was a rekindle on a previous burn, um, about two blocks to the west, and we just heard a call come out 17. It's correction, 7117 Laurel Canyon, which is right there at the, what is it called, Rebud. It is a marijuana, uh, it's a marijuana dispensary. And the owner, I think, is there, or someone, like security is there, and they, you can see the front window was broken, and uh, they fired shots at the suspects. Um, yeah, the airship yeah, is, I don't know where he's going. I don't know if he's responding here, but he just did a big circle. We'll see if he, we'll see if he drops in, but there's, uh, there's LAPD units coming here right now. Um, oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he just passed and he's like, he heard something. He heard our call, but he didn't, I don't think he was paying attention. We'll see if he comes back. So right now we're just waiting for LAPD to show up because we are here before uh, the cops. People ask that a lot. They go, do you ever get there before the cops? This is an example of that. Um, you can see we're hanging back. There's a unit right there that's rolling up. Um, we don't have, there's a unit behind us too. Actually, it looks like two units coming. Traffic accident with Hydra involvement. 6800 Lindley Avenue. Now we have that. I don't know where he's, he might not actually be responding to this call. He might've just driven by. <sighs> 6,800 Lindley. 6,800 Lindley, vehicle DC, fire hydrant involved. Let's go through incident 379 RD, 1020. All right, and the cavalry is here. My goodness, Taylor, look behind. There's one, two, three, four, five. Look at, look behind us, look at all the units. Like polar hoods, that tree with the hood on. Like pants. Yeah, really, there were other people inside of the vehicle. Right. They're here. We're gonna jump out. Grab my. Roger. Stage at Broadway and Mission. 
Okay. All right. Everybody's here. Okay, Jay, the PR's still inside. We'll step out and meet. Okay. So they're. Hey, Jay Roger. So how about the PR secure the fire? All right. Hang on. Yeah. We're not going to get out just yet. They're all coordinating. They're going to grab all their rifles and stuff. But the the suspects are gone. At least they said they're gone. They could still be here. Everybody's stacking up. They're getting their guns. They're going to stop traffic. Yep, they're going around the other side. There's another unit on the north side. He's backing out. He realizes, I think, he's on the wrong side of this whole thing. You can see all the officers are stacked up to our left, right past that hydrant. Yeah, he's... He's going to stop traffic. Yes, the is still on the line. She's, she has secured the firearm. Oh, it's a female. Oh, wow. Where is it? Is it just her? I, I want to get that. Yes, the security, and she's by herself inside of the business. Okay. Yeah, let's get that. Roger, have a walk in. stepped over to the officers. Um, they have cover right there at the corner. It sounds like right now they tried breaking into the dispensary uh, with an intent to rob the place. I'm assuming the front window is broken. She was inside at the time, discharged rounds at those suspects. Suspects then fled in a, I think they said dark colored Mercedes. We'll double check on that. Um, but as of right now, she's just standing over there. Her weapon is inside. They made her leave her weapon in there. Um, and officers are now approaching the building and they're gonna clear, clear the building. in there but they don't they don't know that that we were responding to. Let's grab sticks and we'll go further down once they go in the front. I want to get a shot of the broken glass. 
interesting. Uh, interesting. We uh, we've been on a few of these uh, situations, but normally they don't. Normally they don't shoot back. Those guys will definitely think twice next time. situation out here we're uh, interestingly enough right next door to the fire station this is uh, fire station 89 LAFD 89s um, it's only about what one one business to the north marijuana dispensary these places get hit all the time Tay and I were talking about it I don't know if it's still the case but last I was uh, last I looked into it the dispensaries are not able to use um, uh, banks so a lot of them have of course, marijuana on hand, but they also have uh, large sums of cash that they can't deposit. Um, and obviously, criminals see that as an opportunity. Tonight, uh, that opportunity was uh, cut short by that uh, security officer. So, fairly interesting. But she did state, uh, at least in the 911 call, um, that she fired at the suspects and wasn't sure if she actually hit them or not. So they'll be looking at the ground over here, and uh, of course they'll be checking. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool, a little skateboard. They'll be checking security camera footage, obviously, and see you know exactly what vehicle uh, they were driving and uh, if there were any visible signs that the suspects were hit. But um, probably, uh, probably quite the shock when they broke the window, and next thing you know, lady starts uh, returning fire or shooting to begin with, right? <sighs> That's what we have. We're in North Hollywood. We're just south of Sherman Way. We're waiting for LAPD to clear the location. Once they do, um, we'll try and get some shots of that broken glass. And uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty open shut case right now. But the big thing on this is just getting the information for those, uh, for that suspect. And I'm, I'm sure there's cameras everywhere. I can almost guarantee it. Actually, let me zoom in and see if we can find some. Yep, got one. Right off the bat. That was easy. I count one, two, uh, two on the outside. Oh, sorry, three. And yeah, three on the outside. And I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a few inside as well. Okay, pretty much static situation. They're gonna continue clearing this. Um, at this point though, there's not much more to it. Suspects are gone. Uh, security officer's probably not in trouble, at least locally. Um, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm glad she was able to defend herself and the uh, bad guys are in the wind. To live another day though, maybe, unless she hit one. But we'll find out more We'll find out more uh, in the morning. Well, it is the morning, I guess later in the morning. When people actually are awake. Uh, 
Um, we're heading to a report of a brush fire southbound 5 at Stadium Way. LAFD is sending air operations. Um, they're sending one helicopter, a uh, whole bunch of resources. We're right now northbound 110 uh, coming up to Tunnel 1, uh, which is right near Academy Road and the five, or the 110 five split. And here's the tunnel, so Tay's exposure is about to get messed up for a little bit. This is a reoccurring issue. Uh, why are we, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. What do we got? Oh no. Oh no, construction. We've made a mistake. Well, the worst here. I'm a little bit concerned because we have open freeway behind us. 536, your location. Brilliant. The pursuit. The timing. Well. Gives us time. Sherman in the 170. Okay, I'm stuck in a uh, what looks like a Caltrans. Uh, CHP's got a break for Caltrans here, northbound 110 at the five. Uh, if you could take the 134 to the five, just in case I'm stuck here longer than I think. Um, usually these are pretty quick, and I saw the red and blues up there a little ways. Um, so we were talking about something earlier. Uh, we have an incident. I, why didn't we continue uh, talking about that, the uh, the car shooting thing? We, I, thought we, I thought we were talking about Hey, we're opening up right now. Okay. Um, we have a uh, situation going on right now with someone, and this is a, a weird... Uh, weird situation and I'm hoping that it's resolved by the time this uh, episode airs but we have a uh, person unknown person driving around right now shooting at people in the downtown area so between on like the 110 primarily um, but between like the 10 and the 105 we've had multiple car shootings I think we've covered four or five so far and we're aware of six they're all the same MO. Um, the suspect uh, basically causes an issue on the road. They'll cut off a car, drive toward them, do whatever. They'll cause a problem. The victim then will honk or flash their high beams at the suspect. The suspect then comes up next to them, fires multiple rounds of 45 uh, ACP, presumably. Yeah, I know. It's a yeah. They they ran a break to set up a Caltrans thing, so I'm trying to get through it. But yeah, I copy. Thank you. Um, so what they're doing is they're shooting out there. The suspect's passenger side window. They're firing multiple rounds of 45. They're striking other vehicles, uh, primarily right here. We've seen uh, bullet holes. And Alex, if you could roll some of the footage from the car shootings that we've had. I had one, the Pico Union one's a, a really good example of what the what it looks like. Um, but basically you have rounds coming through here, rounds coming through here, and he has a really, I would say for the, considering the conditions, an extremely tight grouping, um, which is terrifying if you think about it, that this guy can be driving next to someone and be accurate with a handgun uh, out a moving car into another moving car. So, what's going on? Oh, chippies are doing something here. Okay, so they have the five, it looks like the five closed. All right, they're UTL currently. Okay, but they're currently unable to locate on the fire. Oh, here's CHP, they closed the five. Okay, uh, northbound 110 to the northbound five is closed. LAFD is currently UTL, but we have multiple calls coming in. So it's there's definitely a fire in the area. 455 will be jumping off at FIG and I'll head uh, I'll head over to uh, Riverside, see if I can find it. Um, so we have this suspect, he's driving around, he's shooting at people. Um, we have one incident that happened on the 105 the other night. We didn't cover it because it was later, but he ended up killing the person. We had one in East LA where the person was shot. 
Um, we covered the Pico Union incident where uh, the person was shot at, but they were not struck, or they were hit by glass, um, very minor injuries, which is good for them. But these situations happen every once in a while. We end up with a, uh, we end up with a freeway shooter, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty scary stuff, actually. Let's do this. It's pretty scary stuff. I'm not, uh, we, we deal with it every once in a while. I'd say every like four years we get a freeway shooter. They're re they're not super super common, but when they do happen, they're pretty terrifying because they're very indiscriminate, right? Anybody can be a victim of that. You're driving along, somebody cuts you off. Your reaction is to honk, be like, "Hey, what are you doing? Stop trying to stop trying to kill me!" And then next thing you know, they're shooting at you, and it's like, what the heck? So really. Um, Angeles Point Road. Okay. So it sounds like we do have a fire. Let's see if we can find it. But yeah, it, it's a pretty terrifying thing. I don't know why people even consider that. Oh, there we go. We got it. Even consider that as something that's okay. But it's, uh, yeah, it's just scary stuff. And people are uh people are shitty sometimes there's no no rhyme or reason for it um but he's been he's been like doing it a couple days and it'll take off a couple days so it's been it's been difficult to find a uh, oh there it is how do they not find that they go there's no fire uh all right 455 has got a uh, about a quarter acre uh running uphill it's gonna be uh, i'll have a corrected location here in a second <laughs> All right, there you go. All righty, uh, 45's on it. I'm gonna hit it from the freeway. Uh, I'll be getting on at uh, southbound five from stadium should put me right in the right spot. Uh, we'll go with these guys. We might go to the middle here. That's probably gonna be our best bet. Black or gray hooded sweatshirt, black pants. Go to and ten twenty six thirty six. They said they were going direct. I don't know if we'll be able to see it from right here though. That's the only uh that's the only issue. What the f Ouchie. Can you see it? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like smoldering trees. Smoldering trees, well, yeah. <laughs> Four, five, 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 three, six, three, one. Yeah, I'll back up on the car. Do you want me to continue through? Oh, no, I, I got the, uh, it's just a small quarter acre spot. It's not a huge, uh, not a huge thing. If you want, um, yeah, just go to the, um, just go to the, uh, uh, just go to staging. And 455 David's gonna be out at the uh, fire here. I'm gonna leave some room. We might have to climb up onto the other uh, side here through the brush, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look. All right.
I do not, uh, I do not envy these guys right now. They're going way up that hill. up there working but that's way up there that's probably that's probably a couple hundred feet above us right now and that angle is is really steep they're gonna go all the way up and then they did ask for air resources so we'll see if we end up getting an airdrop on this it wouldn't surprise me if we did but either way let's go down a little bit further um we get a couple more shots and it's also there's not too much to burn right there uh it's almost almost to the top of the hill as of right now What's that? The trees, the trees have a lot of water, but it has been really hot lately. We ha we've had about uh, six or seven days, well over 100 degrees. So we're talking 102, 103, 104. Um, when you have days like that stacked on top of each other, that's when you have a situation where you end up with uh, really, really dry conditions. And that's what we're looking at right here. And also it's the, uh, what is it? The, not the super moon, it's the, um, what's the name of the moon? Is it the super moon? It is, right? So we have two full moons this month and we're looking at the first one right there. Well, there's air support. Look at that, huh? Just speculating, of course, this is probably going to be a homeless encampment fire. That would be my, that'd be my best guess. But uh, city's got a ton of uh, equipment here, a ton of guys. They're up the hill doing their thing. We got some great shots of them working and getting this out. Uh, they'll probably have this completely out in the next. Uh, looking at looking at what we've got on the hill right now, probably the next 30 to 45 minutes. We got everything we can get from here. We're gonna get on out of here. Get on to the next one. Okay, we're heading to a reported structure fire, 41st in Normandy. I don't see any smoke yet, but uh, it's going to be closer down to King, so we'll we'll see when we get closer. Oh, we have this guy stopped in lanes here. I think that car, the car hit it. I think this guy almost hit it. 5:36. You okay with that uh, stalled? Gabe's behind us. I, I, don't, I didn't see him make it around it, and I don't see him right now. Let me call him. Hey, make sure that wasn't Gabe that TC'd. Oh, God. Did someone TC? Because I don't see him behind us. Oh, no, he's... Is that him behind you? That's him. He's good. Okay. All right, we're good. Jeez. Okay. All right, it's going to be vacant with heavy fire showing and FD's in offensive, or correction, defensive mode. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be out. All right. So, yeah, Randy's on the car shooting. Um, we've got a two-story...
Oh, it's going, going. Mm -hmm. They're probably using wagon batteries. You can see the steam already. <sighs> Okie dokie. Let's go. We're going to go further. Yeah, I think we're going to go here. Uh, yeah, Metro from Town 415. Uh, on the intersection of 41st and Normandy. I'm uh, going to stand on 46 to size up. I got a two story. Single oh, let's get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. I'll let you know we have any uh, exposure issues in a minute, but at this time we're going to be taking a defensible approach. Go ahead and give me uh, two additional task forces. Much better. I'll be known as so many Much guys. better. All right. Okay. Much better.
the uh, wagon battery stuff. There's a woman on the side. She was pulling over. Yeah, I think she might have uh, she might have been involved somehow. Maybe it was a homeless encampment thing. Uh, it looks like it's seated in the building pretty good. Uh, the other the help on the other side is passing as well. I need to think. Do you want to go for that, or do you want me to go for it? So I can go in here. I'll go around. There's more people on the other side. Okay, go to the other side. I'll stay here. Here, but she, I think it might have to do with her because when we walked her, up, her okay, okay, move, move, yeah, right here. There was fire here, she was trying to get her stuff out of there, so I think she might be the cause. But it's, a, it's only a vacant, so oh, a little bit more. That's fine, that's fine. All right. Uh, recap on this it's going to be a two-story uh, vacant looks like what was it condos possibly there's just a two-story house two no I think it was subdivided right yeah. if it possibly condos might have been a two-story house originally uh, when we came up we had a, a homeless uh, female out front she had some items that were on fire presumably the start of what uh, of how this got out of hand uh, LA City's getting a really good handle on it we had a little bit of flashing in the back I'm not sure it looked like a gas line that was going, but because it's vacant, I highly doubt there's gas hooked up to this building. Either way, City Fire got a really fast knockdown. Gabe's got some footage from the front. Let's take a look at that, and we'll be on to the next one. Okay. 